you said did they ever steal any of my ideas there's a certain someone who trained me who now likes to wear some wild outlandish suits if you will I'm not saying any names is that what you're talking about what was that all right fine <laughs> that was Thunderosa eating tacos. All right, guys, welcome back to the taco vlog. I'm here in Murrieta, Georgia, which is like about an hour from Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm here in Birria El Gordo, which is number one in Google. That's why I came here, and I drove for a whole hour to be here. But I'm here not to eat by myself. I'm here to meet with somebody. Oh, it smells good in here. Oh, look who we have here. We have Siki Dime. I am ready to tear up some tacos. <laughs> Dude, if you, I know this place is good when it says they close when they sell out. I, really? Yeah. Oh, well, let's close down the place. Okay. Except I, I left my wallet at home. Uh, Can you? No, I actually, our, our, our guys from the wellness center pay for it. The modern what? wellness center. Yeah. That is outlandish and cool. <laughs> I was peeking at the menu already a little bit and it's it looks delicious. Have you, have you had birria tacos before? I think once, but at another place across town, I don't remember. I'm so, I think a little... Uh, All right, I'm still here with Siki with our little microphone. Yeah, I was going to say, have you ever told them watching what you filmed this with? My mind is blown right now. I'm asking everybody, 101 everybody questions. Everybody loves this camera. Everybody loves this camera. So this camera is, it's, I call him, I call it Wally because he looks like yes. Wally, right? But yeah, It's really dude. tiny. It looks really cool. There's a screen on it and we got this wireless microphone. Hello, <laughs> check. Can you hear me? You know, like this is a Oh, and you got to wait. It, I think it has like grease from all the tacos I've eaten. Well, the, it, at least it's taco grease. And so, you got the nice napkin. Is that a napkin on top? No, this is that. That's what it's called, napkin. No, I don't know. I was. No, just this is for the wind, up. so it like it blocks the wind. Oh. Yeah. In case we don't want to say a lot of words with peas. Yes. So he's gonna eat two quesabirria. So this is like the funny thing. I haven't had birria birria tacos yet. I had it in Chicago, but it wasn't a a birria taco review. It was like we went to this place, Emporium. Shout so out to Emporium. What's the difference? What? Well, they gave us three options. They mm -hmm. said chicken, chivo, and beef. I'd rather eat beef because yeah, chivo, it's, beef. it's 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 um, it has a like a gamey taste, and what? I don't think you will like that. Oh, really? Did you know that I like the freakiest of meats? A lot of people don't like to eat with me. Well, let's, I like let's tripas, eat. the intestines. I love lengua, cabeza. I like pig's feet. Oh, you like cabeza? Oh, I do. Was I a, do. That was a, that was a joke. That was I know. <laughs> I got it. Don't worry. Don't you worry. That's why you should say chorizo, <laughs> but he likes cabeza, guys. Oh, yep. That's right. That's right. I sure do. <laughs> so where's your love for tacos started? Oh, man. Like early, early. There was this place in California I used to go to, this big old market. Oh, my gosh. I'm drawing a blank. Oh, my gosh. And I used to go and get... The carne asada is where I started. I think that's like very basic, right? And then mm -hmm. I started getting freakier and freakier with the tripas and all this stuff. So and who then, introduced you to tripas? Oh, uh, so I, all the family friends, everyone I grew up with, like friends of friends, their family, going to friends, family gatherings, birthday parties. Like I was never afraid to try anything. That's one thing I've, um, I've got to say. And then that's good and a bad thing, right? But like I went out to eat with my niece recently and she was like, didn't want to try anything. It was just French fries and... I don't know, chicken tenders? Gotta have my limes. I love limes. So there, have is, my limes. there is a uh, salsa, salsa, what is it? salsa bar over there that I'm just gonna go and get lime. Because it comes with consomme, and I'm just gonna get that and the, and the red sauce that is in there. Um, so I am half Puerto Rican, believe it or not. Okay, I'm undercover. But Are you? spice is one thing I can't do much of, so I try and keep things mild. What about you? Do you like things spicy? Oh, hell yeah, dude. I, I should have it's, like, it's like mild to hot. But I like spicy on my stuff. When I went to Puerto Rico, La Rosa Negra was like, you like pique on everything. I was like, hell yeah, Mexican. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. yeah. Gotta keep it's, it spicy. So, if you guys don't know Siki Dice, Siki Dice, first of all, you should go on his Twitch, right? Twitch. I've got YouTube. I've got it all. But, yes, you can catch me on Twitch most of the time. I'm live, like, almost five days a week. Taking over the purple platform. So, I met, like, I really started talking to, to Siki when we were in NWA. Yes. 
nickname famous. Yes. And WA time. The good, the good old days. It was, it was a great time, honestly. Like, see what that? I chiquita. She's like even. I did see the, it's the, the camera. camera. It's yeah. very, it's a very special um, unit. <laughs> yeah, met at NWA. Yes, and then you became was it? Well, what champion did you become there? World's Television Champion. And he used to cut some badass promo there. Hey, I, I can still cut a badass promo, and I might on this taco here in a minute. Oh, you gonna cut, cut a promo on the taco? I might. I think, yes. I think you should. I think you should. I did. Listen up, you little taco. I'm gonna grab you right by your tiny little tortilla, and I'm gonna pinch it nice and close. <laughs> And I'm gonna go ahead and first I might even lick it. No, no, I'm gonna just go ahead and bite right into you. And once I'm done, I'm gonna clean up my face. <laughs> this thing is falling. As I'm speaking, I'm like, he's really good at promos. So that's one of the things that I noticed. He was like, you were really good at promos. And then you, you were just like, fun to watch. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yes. I, I, I strive to be different I, with all my travels, and I'm sure you can attest to this. Mm -hmm. you, you see a lot of the same things, and uh, I so I took that in. I said, "What can I do that's different?" And I found him. Hey, myself, I am different, so I'm just gonna be you know, that. Yeah, because yeah. you have, if you haven't been on his social media, look at him. Up, look him up. He has so many tattoos all over. I him, am right? covered. I am. I'm, 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 my mom says I'm a walking uh, coloring book. But yes, please stop by twitch.tv slash Zicky Dice. I'm live all the time. I'm actually throwing a wrestling show with Twitch on January 15th. I think your this Taco Bell will come like in right one week before your show. Wow, one week before. Well, then you better tune in. We're <laughs> giving it away for free at twitch.tv slash Zicky Dice on the front page of Twitch. Yes. Oh, is it on the front page of it's Twitch? It's on the front page. Have you been on the Twitch show? I mean, on the Twitch I've been on a few. I haven't been to the headquarters yet. I thought about doing a live stream from out front and seeing if I can get security to escort me off the premises because I thought that would be fun. And that's, that's what the kids love to watch, you know, all this... They like the craziness. So. Well, you, you know, it's so funny that you say that because when I was uh, feuding with uh, Dave LaGreca, I went to his house and I took over his house. I, you and know, I attacked him on, that, on his on his show. I did see that. Did did, the, <laughs> did he try and prosecute you or anything? Or any, well, any I, legal? I, think he, I honestly think he really enjoyed the fact that I tied him up and put a sock on his mouth. Oh, outlandish, you know? yeah. Yeah, he's into that. Is and he? then his wife gave me permission. So. Makes sense. <laughs> It all works out. Yes. You know, didn't you put cake in his face too? He's allergic to. He's really allergic to chocolate. And I didn't know, so I smash him on the cake and, and yeah. He broke out in hives and yes, his esophagus did. closed and he couldn't breathe. It he was did. hilarious. So yeah, so people really like that kind of. And yeah. you know the funny thing is, those people in other companies are watching and they're stealing my ideas. Oh, you don't say. That never happens in this business. Can you just let me finish the, the storylines before you start stealing my shit, guys? Just please, FYI. Please, please. Has that happened to you before? Uh, yes, multiple times. And I'm, with the we're, e? we're not gonna say no with the e. Um, I, you know what? What? You know yes. what? You know what? There is oh, some. You know what? Ooh. Hold on. The tacos are ready. These are the tacos oh. that we got. So he, here is a. I'm gonna show you before. Yeah. Yep. Sorry, I'm talking. No, touching you're your good. Tacos. You're good. You the can touch my taco. <laughs> Sorry. Can I really? Can I touch your taco? I gave you consent to touch my All taco. All right, it's con it's, this is consensual, guys. Wow. This is wow. the birria taco. And they're like, she wow. said it was soft. These are your hard tacos. These are unreal. So here's your tacos. I, oh my gosh, yes, yes. These are his tacos. Go ahead and just. Uh, With hella chips, by the way. God, you gotta love the chips. I don't know about that, though. Have you counted? There should be a YouTube counter. That with each one of your videos, with each taco you take down, the number just goes up. So by the end, we know how many. I don't think you want to know how many tacos you didn't have. Do Bro, you? I don't. I don't. No. But that's why I only ordered three, oh, and I, I didn't have lunch though. Yeah, me either. This is my first meal. I said, "Thunder, you want to know how?" This is how I know that I love Thunder. She said, "You want to go out for tacos?" I said, "Thunder, I'm on a cut." But yes, I'll go out for tacos with you. So here we are. See, these are my. I I order mine. They're soft tacos. He didn't get. He started mm. eating them already. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> He's like, I don't give a My God. The way this is unreal. Dude, you're like. Are we dipping you were in there? No, you dipped the birria tacos on that one. Oh, on that one. Okay, okay. So, you were telling something that and I interrupted you. Oh. You said, did they ever steal any of my ideas? There's a certain someone who trained me who now likes to wear some wild, outlandish suits, if you will. Not saying any names. So yes, people have stolen my ideas. 
Is that what we're talking about? Who was that? All right, fine. <laughs> that was Seth Rollins. Seth, if you're watching, I know that he, you hit up my designer. Did he train you? Yeah, he did. He trained me. And that's why he thinks that he can go and hit up my suit designer and start wearing these suits on TV? Mm, all right. Seth? Seth? How did, how, when did he train you? How long ago was that? Oh, my God. 2015. I was in the third class of the Black and Brave Wrestling Academy. Shut the hell up. I swear to you. No lie. And you know what? By now, they should probably have a statue of me inside that damn place. <laughs> So if they don't, it's time we should we get them one. I'm mm. sorry guys, I'm enjoying this tacos, I can't even ask questions. How are your tacos? My tacos always been good, boo-boo. <laughs> 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 I don't know why yours. Mm. Well, I got tongue in mine. Mm. I have tongue in my tacos, and these are this great. This is the first time a guay boy, mm. no disrespect, has asked for a lengua taco. Really? When he did lengua, I was like... That's how I do. Oh, you like lengua, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we know. And the cabeza and the intestines. If they had three bus, if they had three bus, I would have gotten three okay, bus on who, who got you again on the three bus one? I think my dad had got me into that. And my dad really liked it. Now, I know my, I got my little brother into it. He loves it now, too. It's not for everybody, okay? Okay, it's one not. thing I can tell you guys. He's putting green sauce on his lengua tacos. He knows his tacos. This guy mm -hmm. knows his tacos. This is bomb. Have you? Wow. Mm, mm -hmm. Have you eaten tacos in Mexico City? I've never been to Mexico and I want to show them. Never been. Never? Never. You were from California, bro. I know. I know. How's that even possible? That's terrible. I can't believe that. Me either. So we got to make that happen. So, so he's, a, he's a free agent, by the way. No, I work for Impact Wrestling now. What? I'm with Impact. Like yeah. full time? Well, at least for the next two and a half years. Congratulations, Thank you. Thank brother. You. We'll be hanging out there, making some great television. I'll be kicking ass along the way. I oh, didn't know you were signed full time now. Yeah, we signed in August. Well, that is recent. Yes, yes. So we'll be there for a little while. Okay. Right now they got me with Brian Myers, and he doesn't really treat me so so fairly. So I'm starting to get annoyed by. Him. Yeah, you should. You should. Now, what do you like about? How do you like Impact Wrestling? I love Impact Wrestling. And you know, the thing that Impact, I can still go to Mexico and work for AAA, or hell, maybe I can stop by AEW if I like. I can go back to the NWA if I felt so inclined, or oh yeah, because they're working on that NWA, right? Yeah, or even go to Japan. <clears throat> that was so much fun. I was just invited to go, but my schedule didn't allow it. Well, I'm squirted on me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's naughty. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it burns. It burns. Oh, thank you. Thank you. The cilantro is flying. Everything is flying. And so uh, I got to ask in all your yes. travels so far, because this answer may change, right? Where is the best taco that you've had? So far, Monterrey, Mexico. Really? From the travels now. I mean, of course, uh, Mexico City has had one of the best tacos. Um, I will say this one so far has been. The best, because last time I was in San Antonio, it was Tex-Mex. It wasn't like Mexican-Mexican. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's a lot of Tex-Mex here. Mm -hmm. I like, yes, but I like, I'm going to be honest with you. I can't, I don't like it. I like Mexican-Mexican. So, you know, guys, this place is under construction. So, that's why you hear that. Alan is going to hate this. <laughs> We're going to have to fix a lot of things once I get out here. Doing He's going to go and bomb that bathroom, brother. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. you have a... A bad, a bad story with tacos? After eating some raunchy well, ass tacos? <laughs> let me put it to you this way. Outlandish Ziggy Dice doesn't have a gallbladder. So you know what that means? Oh fuck. By the time we hit record, I have 15 minutes to get home. And if I need to get through some stop <laughs> signs or stop lights along the way, I'll do it. It's, I'm, I'm a gambling man, all right? And that's the life that I live. Gotta gamble. But for the tacos, I'll do it. Of course, who hasn't had? Let's be honest. Can we talk about the worst taco in the world? Oh, yeah. I will, that was another one. Thanks for actually you didn't have to ask you. What was the best taco that you ever had in the world? My, the best? This one might be. This was pretty damn good. I'm not going to lie. But in San Diego. Fuck out of here. There was somewhere that I went where they had like the cheese. They put it on the grill and the cheese was like the shell. Like it was freaking incredible. I don't remember the name of the place. Was like, it good or bad? 
Very good. Oh, it's a kettle. It was a kettle taco. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That was incredible. Worst taco. I mean, it's when you're drunk with the buddies at the old watering hole and you get the two for 99 cent jack, jack in the box tacos back in the day. You want to talk about doing damage? Those will mess you up. Hell yeah. Now, I know you guys know what I'm talking about. Don't put your head down in shame. Pick it up. We've all had those nights where you find the Jack in the Box bag next to your bed and you're like, no, please don't tell me. You never went to um, Taco Sal Gordo in San Diego? Mm mm. Oh, in LA? They have Taco Sal Gordo in LA. I might have. There was like a little Gordo, gordo Taco Man in there. I like, okay, so one of the best sizes I had is this place called La Unica, mm -hmm. where I'm from. That was pretty good. And we, I like hitting the different taco trucks along the way. I'm always down for a taco oh, truck. Yeah. Taco mm. trucks are the best. Mm. That's two tacos now. Yes. That's, that's a crunchy taco uh, for... Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. What do you think? You got to put this sauce. This is incredible. Not super spicy, but... Mm. Job. My God, <laughs> this is so damn good. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're a musician too, right? Yes, I sing in a band, play a little guitar here and there. All right, so you were saying? I'm still looking to make a little bit of uh, music. We, my uh, my band, Heart to Heart, we released a record about a year ago. We don't play as much anymore, but I'm looking to do some solo stuff on the side mm -hmm. that we should be releasing here, hopefully this year. How do you start singing? Like, you were young or like, was it in church or what? Well, I sang because I picked up a guitar and we just like started singing for fun. And then in high school, I joined choir. Ooh. And I was a tenor and a bass in high school and then we used that for music. And most of the time we couldn't find anyone to like sing in the band. So I was mm -hmm. like, you know what? I'll sing in the band. Aww. So I kind of picked it up. Still singing a few uh, tune here or there. You know, I can hold a, hold a key. Yeah. And I want to thank... The Model Wellness Center again for being such awesome um, sponsors. Thank you. And also, like last time I was there, they did like work on me. They did really? like yeah, they do massages. They do like holistic work. Really? Yeah. And I have um, they gave me like a, a pack, like a care pack package. I still use. I use they have like this gum that is for. What is it for? I don't remember, but it's really good. <laughs> for stinky breath. No, actually, it's not for that. Well, we're going to need some after this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. Mm. They gave me probiotics because they knew I was having such a hard time. So I yep. took those probiotics. So it's not. It's charcoal? How do you say? Char really? Yeah, but it was their spills, so it cleans you up. Did it taste weird? No, it's their pills. They don't taste weird. But shout out to them. Thank you. Yes. Mm. So besides singing. Being an entertainer, working for Impact, what other uh, thing do you do? Um, I like to play poker. I can do a few magic tricks. I'm a huge fan of magic. I don't do as much as I like to because I don't have time, but mm -hmm. magic always interested me. Just bought a house here in Atlanta, moved from California to Atlanta. How you did? Stuck here in Georgia. Hey, you did? You just got married last year, right? I did. One year locked in, my God. Sorry, ladies, he's not available. I know. Ten guys. I know. You guys should have <laughs> warned me. But staying happy out here. You are? Yeah. I when we, it was the, during the pandemic and we both were like if we could tell you guys the stories the things and the struggles we have to go through. You will understand us a little bit more. One day we'll save it for my HBO special, you know. I'm going to save it for my book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um but he started doing Twitch and it was like not out of desperation. Because of you. Because of oh, you. I tell this story all the time. You, I don't know if you remember, but you called me and you said, Ziggy, you need to get on a platform. You need to focus on either YouTube or Instagram or whatever and pick one. And I sat there and I said, okay. And that next day, Twitch reached out to me and said, hey, why don't you bring Ziggy Dice to our platform? I said, I don't play video games. I said, perfect. How creative can you get? And booyah kasha. Here we are a year and a half later and I'm throwing a freaking wrestling show a with massive. Twitch. Wrestling like, show it's not like, oh, Ziggy's throwing a wrestling show on his Twitch. It's like, no, he's throwing one on his Twitch with Twitch. It's pretty insane to think but about. That, that tells you all the work that you put in. We have been going on. We like to make things different on there. We have a show called The Ziggy Dice Show, which is like your daytime TV drama show. We have a show called Wizards of Love, where 
I hook up singles um, together. So if you're watching this and you're single and want a chance at love, reach out to Atlanta Ziggy Dice. Let me bring you on Lizards of Love. I can set you up. Yes, he does. Yeah. You had um Sierra. <laughs> yep, yep. We had Allison K. We had Allison K. on there. You had Marty, right? Yep, yep. We Marty had, Bell. We had Marty on there, and they didn't find love, but we did find a lot of other things. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, it's it's interesting to say the least. Come hang out. Well, next time I'm here, I'm probably. I would love to do that show. But, I mean, you know, I'm married too, but it would be fun to like. Step, I'm, I'm the best wing woman in the world. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Of course you can come on. And you know you're in a Mexican place when all this shit is happening. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Straight up. We wow. out here. Man, this thing was good. This is... I'm glad I didn't go with six doggos. I'm not going to lie. I'm like taking down the street. I'm struggling. <laughs> I told him he wanted to order six tacos, and I was like, "You're not gonna make it." You ever sit down with someone and you're and they, you don't expect them to out eat you, but they do, and you're like, "Oh my god, this person can eat." I watched a friend of mine take like at least seventeen rolls of sushi down once. What? My buddy take down Korean barbecue when we go. I love Korean barbecue. You should come with me there. That's what we gotta do a vlog. Yeah, Nico, hell yeah, that will be That's a special favorite. edition. You know, but I like to hit and run. Let me eat and get the hell out. Like I can't last like people think that I can. You know. Well, I'm glad I told you not to eat all the tacos. So, just to close down, close, close this. What rate will you give to your lengua tacos? From what? 1 to 10. I swear to you, you're not going to believe it. 9.5. It's going to be pretty hard to beat those tacos I had. Wow. They, were, they were delicious. And they were crispy. They weren't your regular soft they tacos. They were crispy. I do love my soft tacos. And, but just knowing how delicious the lengua was and, and how well it was prepared, 9.5. Uh, what about your quesabirrias, which is like queso with birria? These are incredible. These might have the full 10. And <laughs> these tacos right here, the ones that I had today, are the reason why I will be back here. So if you run, if you come in here, you might run into me one of these days. I'll be birria here. el gordo. Mm. Um, I will give probably also a 10 on the tacos. They were delicious. And the consomme. Mm. Delicioso. Mm. You, have you ever had this before? One time. This is way better. Oh, yeah. This is, it was great. It had meat in it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes in Mexico, they put beans, bro. Mm. It is bomb. Um, other than that, uh, what else would you like to say to my fans so they can follow you? Um, Listen, follow this outlandish journey I call life. I made it nice and simple. At Zicky Dice on every piece of social media. Come hang out. I look forward to meeting you all. And he has, like I said, his Twitch is his main source of income. Mm -hmm. So watch mm -hmm. him, follow him. I don't know how it works. Come hang out. Yeah, come, just let me entertain you. Come by Twitch. It's free. Come hang out. Um, I will say I love this place, but I would have loved it if they didn't have no construction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm really happy to uh, to have, like, talk to you again. I haven't seen you in a minute. Yes, yes. It's been a very long time. And the best way to hang out with friends is by inviting them to eat. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, guys, don't forget to follow, subscribe, and get the notifications on my Taco Vlogs. It's every Tuesday. We're dropping it at 3. And uh, follow me on Santa Rosa 22 in Twitter, Facebook, and I don't know, Instagram. And last thing, my website, thunderosa.net, which I have all my 8x10s. And at this time, we will be having Patreon. So if you guys want to see exclusive stuff on Patreon, I do, I do. Subscribe. Well, it's going to cost you, brother. <laughs> We have different tiers. I couldn't do OnlyFans, guys. I'm yep. sorry. It's okay. Wait. <laughs> One day. I'm going to be the MILF. And <laughs> Working it later, yeah. Work until we can anymore. Yeah, or, you know. So don't forget, like and subscribe. And if you are in Murrieta, right? This is Murrieta. Murrieta, yep. Murrieta. Tacos El Gordo. No, El Gordo Birria. That's where it's to be at. So mm -hmm. take care, guys. See you next time.